Treasure. That's four bucks in one day. My pockets are getting pretty full here. Although, that, oh, that's just a cord. Hey, what happened to the fence? Uh, hello? Did somebody freaking steal the, the wire fence? Are you kidding me? No. But anyway, that's four pucks, five pucks I found in one day. Five pucks? One, two, three. Four pucks and a golf ball. Treasure. So I'm heading home now. So this is the first, this is a pretty glorious run there for the first run of the season. Uh, hopefully it's not too windy on the way back. Kind of is what it is. So go around, take everything. Yeah, so I did good today. Now, if we can only find all my freaking tennis balls that I lost. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. I'm going to try to play tennis this year, too. I uh, haven't played in so many years. I'm trying to, trying to get back in shape or do stuff that's fun, you know? Like playing tennis, how Gen X is that, eh? <laughs> uh, it's like somebody ransacked the porta potty. And where'd the bridge go? What? What the hell happened here? The bridge is gone too. I don't know when they did that. But that bridge was getting pretty rotted, so hopefully they put in another one. Probably won't, but oh well. Alright, head back. Got water flowing. Nice. All right, Get switch sides. I like to see what's coming. I know it's not necessarily legal to be on the opposite side of the road, but in the rural areas, it's a little bit different. There's different rules up here. Let's get my big sprocket going. I can do the medium, no problem. It's just if you get any sort of headwind, bike just slows right down. Hey, I could use one of those. Better watch for traffic too so I can get run over. Lovely day. Perfect first summer. Uh, well, it's not summer, it's still spring, but perfect uh, riding day. First sea ride of the season. Didn't go very far. Round trip's about two kilometers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm ready for the Tour de France. Two kilometers, I'm good to go. Yeah, let's do it. 200K tomorrow. Um, here's a question for my audience. I don't know about my regular audience anyway, but uh, it'd be interesting to know what is your max you've done in a day? like kilometers wise, or miles, whichever you want to use, doesn't matter. I am fluent in both. Yeah, so how, how far have you went in one day on a bicycle? Yeah, got a good clipping speed there. I'll show you what I mean by this bike has no glide. I'll stop pedaling now. And... Do I make the bridge? Not quite. So you get the idea. How, how quick this thing moves speed. So that's what happens when you've got big tires that are small and a bike that weighs 45 pounds. Maybe heavier, who knows? Um, yeah, so I, I'd be interested to hear how far you guys have went in a day on a bike. Uh, for me, I don't know. I used to bike for like eight hours a day on road bikes. So those things cover. I, I never had any ways of knowing other than from one end of the city to the other. 
say, okay, well, to, from downtown to Mooney's Bay was uh, seven kilometers or something like that, whatever it was, 10 kilometers, whatever it was. And we'd go there and go back, and we'd hit like 10 places on the way back. So, you know, how much do you cover in an eight hour day? Take a break about every 45 minutes to an hour, sit around, like you, you just don't know, right? So, but uh, yeah, it'd be interesting. On this, I don't think I could do it. I did come up from Ottawa to, 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 my, to my folks place here, where I now reside. Uh, I did that once, that took me six and a half hours on a mountain bike, slightly taller wheels than this and a little bit lighter, but with no front derailleur. And uh, yeah, I had a unique way of changing the front sprocket with my foot. Uh, well, you see like this bike is geared low enough that you can get, oh, uh, don't come running over. You're, we're about to be barked out. Oh, yes, yes. Quiet, you. Making a video. Dumb dog. So anyway, hang on, we're gonna get barked out. Yes, yes, Mary. <sighs> hey, Missy. Yeah, you don't hear the, the cat barking. Look out, I'm gonna run you over. Did you stop dead in front of me? Ugh. Anyway, it took me six and a half hours uh, to do it. And, oh, look at my tire here. That don't look good. That don't, that's a blowout right in heaven. Quiet. Ooh, I better check that out. Yeah, I guess it looks like I'm gonna be putting new tubes in this thing this year. That's why I don't go fast with it. <laughs> those, those are the original tubes to the bike, so, from 2003, so, you get an idea. I have no place to, hey Missy, there you are again. I have no place to put the bike. Yeah, let me do it a time. But anyway, yeah, it took me six and a half hours on a really slow bike, and that's 100 kilometers. Stop peeing on everything. Dumb dog. Yeah, yeah, woo, 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 woo. Dumb dog. Dumb dog. Dumb dog. I'll put this right under the eaves where it gets nice and wet. So anyway, that was a fun first bike ride anyway. Yeah, let me guys, let, you guys let me know your big adventures on your bikes and whatever. So today my big adventure, first bicycle ride, I, I'm full of freaking, I got all kinds, I got a golf ball and I got like, four pucks man check this out i'm like rich i got let's see what we got for pucks there's the golf ball so two plainy janies where did the dog go oh i guess he's back over there a canadian tire puck how canadian is that hockey night puck oh that's a cbc one not a big fan of the cbc but it's a nice puck i guess uh what do i got for a golf ball i got a number two top flight oh he's Spalding, top flight teeth. These are nice. These are actually nice. And then my girl, I was gone for such a long time that whole twenty minutes, eh? Do you forgive me? Well, if I pet you, you'll forgive me. Here we go. Here's my girl. All right. So anyway, I gotta pay the dog tax. So you guys fill in down below your stories. Love to hear them, share them, and have yourselves a great day, eh?